Live from your local news source, this is ABC 27 News at 6. Good evening, I'm Alicia Richards. I'm Valerie Pritchett. Dennis will join us live from Hershey in just a few minutes. But we begin with the state budget, a very late budget. It has now fully passed. All the loose ends now tied up, although nearly six months late. Sarah Wilson live at the state capitol tonight with our top story. Sarah. Alicia Valerie, it was only a small part of the budget that was held up, but it was a big deal for those it impacted. That includes student teachers, community college students, and county commissioners. Good evening, everyone. All smiles from Governor Josh Shapiro as he signed the finalized state budget, hailing bipartisan efforts despite the partisan gridlock that held the legislation up since June. It just goes to show you what we can do when we come together to get done for the good people of Pennsylvania. That's right. The roughly $44 billion budget includes investments in health care, criminal justice reform, and notably a historic expansion of the state's child and dependent care enhancement tax credit program. Under state law, PA would only match 30% of the federal child tax credit. Next year, that'll be 100%. That means for a low-income family with two kids in childcare, their refundable state tax credit will increase from a current maximum of $630 all the way up to $2,100. Alongside that, investments in 911 emergency dispatch, which counties have been screaming for. The budget also increasing mental health services in schools, community college funds, and cash for aspiring teachers. Now student teachers will be eligible for a stipend of at least $10,000, helping encourage more young people to choose this path of public service. Pennsylvania should be proud that their government uh, is doing a lot for them. Not everyone feels that way. The most extreme dysfunction I've ever seen in this state capitol and I'm entering my 20th year of service. If waiting to the very last minute when you're pressured into it um, is the reason for bipartisanship, then I don't think our communication skills are very good. The legislature passing roughly 50 bills Wednesday night before leaving for the year. They won't be back until March in a high stakes presidential election year. You can count on even greater partisanship, political votes that have nothing to do with truly governing. And with this budget now finalized and all wrapped up, lawmakers' attention will turn to Governor Shapiro's 2024 budget address. That'll happen in February. Live outside the state capitol, Sarah Wilson, ABC 27 News. All right, Sarah, hey, thanks so much.